I'm the Magpie! In this video, we are going to take a look at a remarkable invention, in my opinion. Something really, really smart from the 1950s. The Gram Deck. This is a tape machine that you put on a record player. 50s marketed. Uh, I don't know exactly from what year it's from actually. I'm not able to find that even though reading the original paperwork. Uh, it's British. I'm gonna put a link in the description to the only informative website that I'm able to find regarding it. But I'm gonna make a few assumptions based on having read the paperwork. Tape machines, tape decks, tape recorders weren't very cheap in the 50s and most families had already invested in a gramophone or a record player. So some British people realized that what if we invent a form of converter that we put on a record player. I have a record player here, portable, very handy. What if we put it on it and the spinning motion from the record spins the tape. So it's got the, this disc here that spins and you can see it's got a driver here. Also came with this handy rewind tool that you just put in this one to rewind and a rewind weight. Gram deck rewind weight. You read that? However, this was not everything that was included actually. And there's a glorious hit or whatever. Kind of rare. Uh, very rare to get one with everything included. Which is like a three piece ensemble. So you have this microphone. It's a really cool. The Lustraphone model LD61. We're gonna take a listen at that one as well. It looks really cool. So you put it like that. Then you record. Amplifier. Very much needed and included. You can probably DIY something, like a preamp. But this uh, works in the sense that you connect this one, the Gram Deck that just has a cable out. You put it in the head and then you got a mic in. And then out from this one came two cables with weird connectors. So you could plug it into a um, speaker, amplifier, and also you could record the radio. Looks cool. Very lightweight thin. Worked on a 12 volt battery, uh, not included in this one, but I think that just putting a power jack on it because it has a red and a black wire coming from the circuit board inside. And since we have the record mic, because the mic also has a cable, this had two cables. Maybe they didn't have a lot of, you know, connectors. So they had dangling cables instead back in the 50s. But this connector is exactly like the TV antenna connector, at least in Sweden TV antenna. So I made a TV antenna to <laughs> guitar cable-ish, you know, quarter inch. So now I can play and record whatever to record the tape. So it's, it's very simple actually to get going with it. Why does this not exist today? Something that you just put on a record player that becomes a tape machine. I mean, vinyl is back and has been for a while. So like these things go in cycles, you know, that's just how it works. So soon enough. But second of all, based on the design of the Gram Deck itself, setting up a tape loop on it somehow, coming from here going around and like coming back. I think that's very much possible and could be kind of cool to do. But yeah, before I do anything else, I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Moving part, moving part, not moving part. If you watch over here. So big wheel makes small wheel spin with the help of rubber. So on this side, you start. And then we wanna end up here. Over here is where the magic sort of happens. So this is the eraser underneath this one. And you can move this part to sort of yeah, put it in place, I guess. And you can avoid it by going behind this one. So let's do that for now when I show. Uh, so you go up there and then this squeezy squeezy holds it in place. And that's the reader and the recorder. So that's where you record and it's also where you play back. So kind of cool like that. And you 
So you can choose to go with the eraser when you're recording and then you just flip it up here and you play it back. Then you of course go around this one. Whoop. Like that. And we end up over here. Yeah. This is the squeezy squeezy that sort of helps driving it by keeping it tight. I can't push that down with my finger though, so because you, you push that little... But let's uh, put it here first. Okay, so I just go like this. We push this one down. Eh. And we're ready to go. This is all also in the, the, the instructions, of course. And you can see how this is supposed to be used to keep it in from, from like moving when the record is spinning. Cause it's all just gonna be spinning with the record player. I guess it's all based on the speed, like the RPM. Maybe gramophone was the sign on times back then, so 78. Then we can't we can't really go half speed, but 45, 33, 30, 66, or 90. So that's a good good enough. We have this one. So let's set up this one. We take this and we go to mic in and we take record mic. Got no volume or anything. So it definitely benefits from being hooked up to a speaker or an amplifier. Getting some warmth and stuff. Oh yeah, let's put the gram deck on the record player. There we go, and then this one to head. I have a little DIY and I'm gonna improve on this later because now it's just gonna spin together with, with this. What if I put a crocodile here? That like, like so, yeah. Whoa. And it's erasing and recording. So now all we have to do is start it. We're gonna put it in 78. I recorded for a while and annoyingly enough that's how you stop this one. Then we go above the eraser instead. So we don't erase while we <laughs> uh, <laughs> rewind. And this one you just snap it back like so. And then of course we have this lovely rewind tool. <laughs> Here you can hear the recording. I wonder where you put the rewind weight. Is it like here, maybe? Okay. Yeah. It made it heavier. I always want it a bit heavier when I rewind. Let's play back that. Oh. Snap. <laughs> Nope. So before we move on to the microphone, we're gonna try doubling with a second layer of audio. And of course we also grab another piece of equipment. But it sounds incredibly broken, right?
It was a cool transition, <laughs> at least. <laughs> Very hard to know uh, like which level you are on, volume-wise. Monitoring is the word I was looking for. Like, impossible to monitor because you had no idea what the first volume was. So then you seemingly have to be sort of kind of close. But I'm interested in getting this mic, like the audio from this mic, just to use it as a mic. The beautifully styled Lustrophone moving coil microphone, a sensitive and efficient instrument specially selected to the finest possible result from the Grand Deck gramophone tape recorder. <laughs> yeah, as you heard. Should I scan some of the coolest uh, pages for members? Upload? Become a member on my channel to access paper from 1950. <laughs> they had basically like a Tivoli type thing. So you could see it in person. Wow! Here they go through all the different parts. Uh, it is fun that everything is very mechanic actually. Makes me think of ideas. Now I'm interested in if I can set up as a tape loop. I think I'm gonna cut here, gonna figure that out, if it's possible to do. I can figure out the mic at the same time. We cut to a bit more artistic of an approach with trying to make something uh, pleasant. short little loop session yeah made a tape loop kind of cool i guess oh oh i forgot i forgot i don't even know if you can hear me good Oof! i made a converter for this with another antenna cable so now this antenna cable just goes into this pedal and i can Woo!